This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. I'm AJ Sabine here in Point Capi Parish. Is too much wet weather a threat to this year's soybean harvest? I'll have more on that coming up. These little ants could stop you from selling your hay. I'm Avery Davidson with that story ahead. Could this spud bring more money to Louisiana farmers? I'm Kristen Oaks and I'll have the answer coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us on this week's program. For Louisiana soybean farmers, it is time to bring in this year's crop. Louisiana bean growers planted more than a million acres of soybeans this year. That's 5% more than they planted last year. But wet weather, including three straight days of rain last week, now threatens to drown out the hopes of a successful harvest for some growers. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine shows us, if soybean farmers are to cash in on some historic bean prices, what they need right now is a little sunshine. Punkapi Parish soybean grower Damian Glazer explains why this field of soybeans has great harvest potential. This bean right here should, should cut at least 50 to 55 bushels. You know, and not just looking at just one plant, looking at this overall field uh, behind me right here. I think these beans will be very good. Glazer says adequate rainfall through the growing cycle has made this an excellent stand of soybeans. Now, irony has smothered this soybean crop like a wet blanket. Glazer had to stop his harvest prematurely because of too much moisture, too much rain. This year, soybean prices have hit historic highs and, with so much on the line, too much rain could cripple this bean crop before it gets in the bin. We started off pretty good and now we're trying to finish up and we just hope this weather will give us, you know, give us a little break. Uh, a rain or two doesn't hurt us, but a continuous, you know, weekly rain will hurt this crop and we're hoping we don't have that and we can get back in this field and uh, finish this harvest up. Glazer has only harvested 500 of the 2,000 acres of soybeans he planted this year, mostly because of weather issues. Right now, wet weather is the only thing standing between Glazer and a successful soybean harvest. In fact, more than two inches of rain has already fallen on this soggy soybean crop and Glazer says should another major rain event occur, it could put him out of the money. Continuous heavy rainfall would cause some damage issues and so we'd have some uh, lost in uh, test weight and uh, you know and, and, and all of those things combined we lose uh, you know it's, it's, it's our top our bottom line. We're losing uh, you know these, these good beans and this good crop we don't want to uh, we don't want to lose anything we want to try to save everything we can. Until conditions dry out Glazer feels the pressure. He has the crop to pay his bills but he can't get it out of the field. In years prior, it's been hard, hard to come up to the bank and say you don't have enough money to pay the bills or you know, you're going to be a little short because the crop wasn't there in the last couple of years and this year, it seems to be going the right way that uh, it's going to be pretty easy to take care of everything and uh, maybe have some left over. Let's hope Mother Nature cooperates. In Point Capi Parish, I'm AJ Sabine for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. Farmers planted nearly 60,000 acres of soybeans in Point Gabee Parish alone last year. 